Ever wondered what mysteries lie beneath the ocean's surface? Our first stop takes us off the coast of San Diego, California. Here, a peculiar spectacle caught by U.S. Navy footage has sparked wild theories. The footage shows an unidentified flying object, a UFO if you will, diving into the ocean. This enigmatic event has led to the speculation of an underwater alien base. Think about that. Right here on Earth, a base sprawling approximately 76 miles long, hidden in the depths of the ocean. The conjectured location? Near Mexico. Imagine a city teeming with extraterrestrial life right under our noses, or rather our fins. It's a thought that titillates the mind, isn't it? But as with all things unknown, we can only speculate. Could it be a secret extraterrestrial base or just a figment of our overactive imaginations? You decide. Venturing into deeper waters, we encounter a spectacle of light and mystery. The pyrosomes, or glowing ocean tubes, are an enigma of the undersea world. These are not just single creatures, but enormous colonies of bioluminescent tunicates. While each individual is minute, they come together to form tubes that can stretch to an astonishing 60 feet in length. Resembling glowing underwater skyscrapers, they are known to entrap creatures as large as penguins within their luminescent grasp. But there's more to these glowing tubes than meets the eye. They are rare, elusive, and have a unique form of communication. By emitting waves of light, they appear to talk to each other, creating a mesmerizing, otherworldly light show in the dark depths of the ocean. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries of these enigmatic entities. A glowing spectacle of the deep, these creatures continue to mystify scientists. Our next discovery takes us to a relic of human history, hidden beneath the waves off Florida's coast. Here, divers unearthed a shipwreck from the 16th century, a haunting echo of a tumultuous past. This underwater time capsule held a trove of French artifacts, among them bronze cannons and munitions. These relics offer a glimpse into a chapter of history often overlooked, the plight of Protestant refugees fleeing religious persecution in France. The ship likely belonged to these refugees, its cargo a testament to their desperate bid for freedom. The cannons and munitions, symbols of conflict, also stand as reminders of these refugees' determination to protect their faith and freedom. The sea, a silent witness to centuries of human struggle and triumph, guards these artifacts. They lie there, a chilling reminder of human conflict and perseverance resting silently on the ocean floor. Leaving the past behind, we stumble upon a modern yet unusual find in the Gulf of Mexico. A diver, plunging into the depths, came across something quite out of the ordinary, a prosthetic leg buried beneath the sand and sea life. This was no relic of a bygone era, but a recent loss, a piece of someone's life quite literally left behind. The diver, moved by the discovery, decided not to leave the story there. Through the power of social media, a campaign was launched, a call sent out into the digital ether, reaching out to the world in hopes of finding the leg's rightful owner. And find him, they did. A veteran who had lost his prosthetic limb during a boating trip was reunited with his lost appendage. A tale of lost discovery and the unexpected reunions the ocean can orchestrate. Now, we venture into the realm of the bizarre and intimidating. Picture this, a creature from the utter blackness of the deep ocean, a silhouette so peculiar it seems more akin to a nightmare than reality. This is the black scabbard fish. With its long, eel-like body and a jaw bristling with sharp teeth, its appearance is undeniably intimidating. It dwells in the deep ocean waters, calling the crushing depths around 5,500 feet its home. Here, where sunlight is a distant memory, the black scabbard fish thrives in the cold and pressure. Its elongated body, adapted for life in the abyss, cuts through the darkness as it hunts smaller, unsuspecting prey. But don't let its fearsome appearance fool you. Despite its chilling visage, this denizen of the deep is highly sought after, especially in Portugal. There, it is considered a delicacy, a prized catch for deep-sea fishermen. A terrifying yet fascinating inhabitant of our ocean's dark depths. Our next discovery takes us to a puzzling underwater setup near Snapper Ledge Reef. This undersea oddity, complete with tables, chairs, and antennas, initially sparked rampant speculation. Could this be an abandoned secret research facility? or perhaps a forgotten underwater town lost to time. The wild theories abounded. 
However, the truth, while less fantastical, is no less intriguing. The site was eventually identified as a coral nursery. Yes, you heard it right. Those tables and chairs? They were carefully arranged structures intended to aid in coral regeneration. And those antennas? They were part of a monitoring system designed to track the health and growth of the coral. This underwater nursery is a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of hope in the relentless fight to preserve our ocean's precious coral reefs. And it serves as a reminder that even the seemingly mundane can hold a crucial role in the grand scheme of things. A testament to human ingenuity, aiding in the fight to preserve our ocean's coral reefs. Prepare for a dive into the unknown as we encounter a prehistoric light creature near New Caledonia. Submerged 1,600 feet underwater, this new species of brittle star, dubbed Ophiojura, is truly a sight to behold. Imagine a creature with not one, not two, but eight jaws, and an array of hooked tentacles that would send shivers down the spine of even the bravest sea explorer. It's as if we're peering into a time before ours, a time when the world was filled with creatures so bizarre they'd seem more at home in a Lovecraftian horror novel than our modern-day ocean. Yet, here it is, a testament to the limitless variety of life beneath the waves. This creature, with its octet of jaws and spine-chilling tentacles, is a chilling discovery, reminding us of the alien world that lies beneath the waves. From the terrifying to the bizarre, our next discovery is bound to leave you amused. Picture this, a fisherman reels in their catch only to find something unusual. A fish, yes, but this one has a unique twist. It seems to have bitten off more than it can chew, or rather, swallowed more than it can handle. The fisherman discovers a whole, unopened bottle of fireball whiskey in the fish's stomach. That's right, a full bottle of whiskey, likely fallen from a boat, found its way into the belly of an unsuspecting fish. This peculiar find went viral on TikTok, with viewers around the globe fascinated by the fish's unexpected diet. It's a reminder of the strange and often humorous intersections between our world and the marine realm. So next time you're out at sea, remember to hold on to your drinks, or they might just end up as a fish's lunch. A strange tale of the unexpected surprises the ocean can cough up. Our penultimate discovery takes a somber turn, revealing a disturbing trend among Californian sea lions. In the waters near San Francisco, researchers have uncovered a disconcerting truth. A staggering one in four adult sea lions is battling cancer, an alarmingly high incidence that has puzzled marine biologists for years. The culprit? Toxins from barrels dumped into the ocean decades ago. These toxins, remnants of a time when environmental awareness was not as pronounced as today, have seeped into the sea lion's habitat and food chain, causing an epidemic of cancer in these majestic marine mammals. This revelation underscores the importance of responsible waste disposal and the need for greater environmental stewardship. The sea lion's plight serves as a stark warning of the extensive, lasting damage that our actions can inflict on the natural world. A sobering reminder of the unseen impacts of our actions on marine life. Our final stop takes us to the trade routes of yore, off Pedra Branca, Singapore. Here, two shipwrecks were unearthed, each carrying a tale from a different era. The first, a vessel laden with Chinese ceramics, dates back to the 14th century. The ceramics, now encrusted with centuries of marine growth, once served as the currency of trade, traveling across the waves from the prosperous Middle Kingdom. The second shipwreck reveals an Indian merchant vessel from 1796, a silent testament to the bustling maritime traffic that once characterized Singapore's waters. This vessel, now a submerged relic, was once a crucial link in the chains of commerce that connected the East and the West. These two shipwrecks paint a vivid picture of Singapore's historical significance as a trade hub. They show us how, long before it became the modern metropolis we know today, Singapore was a vital crossroads for the world's mariners. A fascinating glimpse into Singapore's past as a bustling trade hub, now resting at the bottom of the sea.